All right, welcome or welcome back. Uh, let's summarize results of the EMPA kidney study in the next three minutes or less. Uh, my name is Mike Fralick. I'm a general internist. I look after patients when they're in hospital, and I'm also a clinician scientist. And one area of expertise is um, SGLT2 inhibitors. So let's talk about the methods. This is how I like to break things down. First, thinking about the research question, use the PICO framework. Population, adults with chronic kidney disease, uh, GFR 20 to 45, or a higher GFR if they had an albumin to creatinine ratio above 200. Intervention was empagliflozin 10 milligrams once daily. That's a pill. The comparator was placebo. The outcome, a bit of a mess here, composite outcome, so death from cardiovascular cause or progression of chronic kidney disease, defined as developing end-stage renal disease, you know, requiring dialysis, death from renal causes, um, and you can see the rest here. Uh, timeline was two years. And then phobia is a mnemonic I created when you're trying to think about the uh, strengths and weaknesses of a study. So placebo-controlled, yes. How is it funded, industry? Outcome clinically relevant? Yep. Uh, was it blinded? Yes. In this case, double blinded. Intention to treat? Yep. That's the ideal approach for most randomized trials. And was it, you know, a lot of centers? Was it multi-center? Absolutely. So what did they find? Well, they identified uh, over 8,000 patients who were eligible. Uh, 6,600 were randomized. Uh, loss to follow-up was rare. That's a good sign. Uh, baseline characteristics, average age of 63, 67% men, and only half had diabetes, okay? So remember that the other half did not have diabetes as their cause of chronic kidney disease. Uh, average GFR was uh, 37 so in terms of their primary outcome, what you can see here is that the rate of the primary outcome, that composite outcome, was lower among people who got empagliflozin compared to placebo. Um, if you like absolute numbers, 13% of patients experienced the outcome uh, among those who got empagliflozin and 17% with placebo. That's a 4% risk reduction, which is pretty incredible. Uh, some secondary outcomes, so um, the overall rate of hospitalizations was lower um, if you received empagliflozin. There was a higher rate of diabetic ketoacidosis, uh, albeit still quite rare, um, and no higher risk of urinary tract infection. Uh, limitations of this study, I think external generalizability, you know, how will this uh, hold up when we use it outside of a clinical trial setting? That is to be determined. And of course, there's uh, no semblance of sort of, is this cost effective? But I certainly think it will be. So this study was absolutely practice changing um, for patients that I care for. If they have chronic kidney disease, they're on an ACE or an ARB, um, this is the next line agent for them. So really impressive uh, take home point for patients with chronic kidney disease and pegliflozin led to a lower risk of worsening renal function or death from cardiovascular causes. And thank you to Harry and Natasha, two med students here at UFT for producing the video. All right, take care everyone.